The second movie I have chosen this year for Halloween is a favorite of mine from way back when I first started getting into watching and collecting horror movies, hack lantern The very first time I wrote a review for hack lantern on my website, it wasn't on any format beyond its hard-to-come-by VHS of the time or bootlegs on DVD. Much has changed since then, and Massacre Video picked it up multiple years ago to put it on Blu-ray, DVD, and even a VHS reprint for its 30th anniversary. Now, you'll never have to worry about Tommy again. Burn in hell, Bill. I love Hack O'Lantern because it's weird, fun, dark in some spots, and features one of the absolute worst stand-up comedians of all time for no reason other than film padding and the ceremony of blood. Hack O'Lantern is about this little boy named Tommy that has the unfortunate ties to his grandpa played by High Pike, which is a Satanist. One of the wackiest, cheesiest Satanists probably in any horror movie that ever had a budget. On one specific Halloween night when Tommy is finally in his 20s or 30s or whatever, Grandpa pays him a visit, laughs way too much, they listen to some Dio for a minute, and then Tommy gets angry because I guess he can. There's also a bizarre backstory about Grandpa wanting to commit incest with Tommy's mom, which is his daughter on her wedding day. Oh my god, that's scarier than anything else in this flick. Hack o Lantern is honestly all over the place with its plot, but with the overall silly tone that it has at the end of the day, there's no way anyone could be suckered in or be scared by it. You laugh at how stupid the characters are and just enjoy it for what it is. Grandpa wants to give you a rubber skeleton and a magic amulet because you're very, very special. It's just for you. Something for me? Because I'm special? Yes, Tommy. Because you are very, very special. Well, blood does have a lot of heavy metals our bodies need to conduct electricity. Oh, yuck, yuck, yuck. Give it. Oh. Tommy, we have to wash that. But, Mom, I like the taste of blood. Grandpa says it's good for me. I can't be scared of Grandpa because of his delivery here or because of his hilariously over-the-top cackle. We don't like trespassers here. You should not come, Bill. Again, more over-the-top cackling. <laughs> Way to break the fourth wall and stare through the soul of the cameraman there, Tommy. You really can't tell the difference in feeling between a rubber spider and a loofah? <laughs> This is one of the single lamest jokes he could have said at this moment. Remember, Roger, I want you to check out that cemetery. There's been another grave overturned. Sure, Sarge. I know it's a grave situation, but I'll get to the bottom of it. You're useless. Tommy puts on a tape in his Walkman and somehow ends up in a DC LaCroix music video where he gets his head cut off by a pitchfork. Makes about as much sense as everything else so far. Let's be honest, every guy digs chicks with tattoos on their asses and short shorts. This advice is fantastic. I come by the store to pick up some candles 
for your ceremony. What do you call yourself doing either? I don't know, just uh, having a little fun, you know. Yeah. Ordinarily, I'd say screw her brains out, but I don't think that little witch has got any. Even Satanists have time to work out, drink Coors Light, and build dark altars to their gods. Hack o' lantern this Halloween or any time of the year is just stupid fun, zits and zombies. It's an over the top silly horror movie that tries to play it straight and serious when all you can do is point and laugh. How serious can you really take this film when you have Grandpa cackling way too many times at pretty much everything? Tommy's younger brother gets laid on a first date in the cemetery next to an open grave. A terrible comedian for absolutely no reason. Grandpa again wearing his devil worship cape over his plaid farmer clothes and one of the most nonsensical decapitations of all time. You just can't. Just watch it this Halloween to enjoy yourself while inducing some tooth rot. Trust me, it will be worth it. The power is in the blood. Yeah. 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 <laughs>